Hi everybody, me here, um, Jeff Wilson, just uh, doing a little video here on our farm and how it relates to this emerging uh, sustainable local agriculture food security project. This has been kind of a family project for the last uh, two or three years. Uh, our son Chris named our farm Kettle Pond Farms and he made this uh, wood carving for us. To get things going, I started a whole bunch of uh, seedlings in the basement under lights. This is our basement. You can see it's an old farmhouse, so it has kind of an old rickety stone foundation. Uh, pretty crowded under here, but uh, we got a lot of stuff started. Between what's here and what's in the coal frame, which we'll see in a moment, I think we have about 1,500 seedlings, actually, at various stages here. Anyway, a bit crowded, but that shows what at least what you can get go on even if the space is tight. This is our dog Heidi sitting in the garden where she's not supposed to be. That's her red ball. I'm in the barn here now. We had this all cleaned out and fixed up for uh, our son Chris and his wife Natalie for their wedding a couple of summers ago. Um, all this is going to be part of uh, kind of our part of our contribution to the community sustainable ag project will be with Anthony and Fallon and other people on the team, we'll be linking to other members of the community who are either already producing food or want to produce food or have people who need food, that kind of thing. These are our chickens. we got about 12 of them now. I've always liked chickens. I don't know why. Way too many eggs for us, so we started selling them to neighbors just to show that we could do it and you know start to get a bit of a little bit of a revenue model going. This is our cold frame for starting seedlings that uh, can withstand the cold. Just made it out of some wood and some uh, old windows that somebody gave me. Between what we got in the basement and what we have here, I figure there's about 1,500 seedlings that we have to go in. So we got tomatoes and eggplant and peppers and a whole bunch of different flowers and whatnot. This is the first garden that we started. We started this last year. It worked really well. Um, and uh, we've expanded it with a this, this is about a quarter acre we've added about another half acre that i'll show you in a moment uh, but you can see it's empty now except for a bit of garlic but anthony and um and bethany his girlfriend will be helping us over the next little while planting all this stuff this is the new garden it's about a half an acre you can see here some starter manure that our neighbors have very kindly donated they're going to give us as much as we want uh, our other neighbor is going to give us as much straw as we want for mulching uh, we were going to do this as no-till, but we decided finally it was, we were breaking up this old sod here, which was pretty tough, so we instead used a, this cultivator that we had on the property. It's just an old piece of machinery that fits nicely behind the tractor. We're doing, we're tilling it this year, and then after this year, it'll probably be just no-till. This gives you a, a bit of a panorama here. There's a horse that new horse at Wendy's been lent by a friend. There's a few acres of forest over there, some horse pasture, and then a bigger horse paddock behind there. And then this is the this is the back of the barn. And this is our tractor. Um, I have a couple of friends who are really good at uh, mechanical stuff. They found this for me on Kijiji. It was $1,600 and they got the price down to $35 and it works amazing so we've been using it for a bunch of different things anyway that'll give you a bit of a flavor about what kettle pond farm is like and uh we're looking forward to working with people involved in local sustainability uh, local sustainable agriculture to map the network engage partners funders collaborators and end users of sustainable locally produced food thanks a lot bye for now